A good day, folks. Welcome to another day of Andrew's life. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I welcome you to the city of Montevallo, Alabama, which is located in Shelby County, 45 minutes south of Birmingham. <clears throat> the population here is sitting at 6,968 people, and this is a growing community. The population has grown by 8.6% as of the 2020 census. Now, violent crime here is below national average. That's good stuff. Property crime is only 4% above national average. Again, good stuff. And if you want to live here in this uh, beautiful city, in this beautiful small city, the median home price is going to set you back at $221,000. However, I got some bad news for, the, for, for some of you people. In reality, the lowest price house that you're going to find for sale at this particular moment is going to be at $293,000. And the market here does appear to be a bit competitive a bit competitive now if you're looking to rent your medium rent prices are 700 to 1220 dollars not the worst rates in the world i mean it's a little high according to the alabama standards but taking into consideration that this is a suburban ish a, a suburban ish community the rent prices aren't you know you may not be necessarily getting a deal the century living here but the prices here aren't the worst by any means in the euro racial demographics are 67.4 percent white 23 percent black and 7.7 percent hispanic and if you're looking for some things to do to keep you occupied here in town and you don't feel like taking the trip into Birmingham or Huntsville or Montgomery or any or Tuscaloosa, you just want to stay here in, in this little small town and, and, and stay occupied, uh, well, you have the American Village Citizenship Trust, which is a history and military museum. You have the Alabama National uh, Cemetery. Now, me personally, I have never been a fan of going to the cemetery other than once in a while to pay respect to all the people uh, in my family that have passed away over the last uh, 20 years or so. But other than that, I'm not, you know, I'm not the kind of person that's going to, like, go to the cemetery and take a walk or I'm gonna just drive to the cemetery and just sit around and chill now there are people that prefer that kind of stuff to them it might be relaxed and it might even be therapeutic to me and eh, I pass on that I'm just not that type of person but if you are then the Alabama National Cemetery might be your thing. And then you also got Orr Park. That's spelled O-R-R -R Park. And you also have the Aldrich Coal Mine Museum. The Aldrich Coal Mine Museum, yeah. And this city, and just for a little bit of general information about this city with a touch of history uh, in a minute here you're gonna be seeing the University of Mont of Monto oh man I forgot how to pronounce it already give me a second here oh yeah in a little bit uh, I will be driving through the University of Montevallo, uh, which is obviously here in the city. It is a liberal arts university with 3,000 students attending. 
And it used to be a tech college for Caucasian women back in the day. And it's also the home of Polly Holiday, an actor for the TV show Alice and the movie Mrs. Delphire. I'm fairly sure some of you that uh, that were, you know, coming up in the 90s. Remember that movie? And all the, and also he was an actor for all the president's men. And then this city is also the home of James D. Hardy, who lived from the 14th of May of 1918. And he passed on the second, I mean, on the 19th of February of 2003. I mean, he was a he was a surgeon who lived in this area, who performed the first lung transplant. It was the first lung transplant in the entire world into a patient named of John Russell who lived 18 days after the operation. And the operation was performed at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi on the 11th of June of 1963. So even though he may have only lived 18 days after the operation, you know, back in the, you know, back in the 1960s, that was still a remarkable thing because such an operation has never been conducted before. Now, as far as how I feel about this city, I mean, I'm given that this city is a suburban-ish city because it's within an hour of Birmingham. And, and that's one thing about Birmingham, for those of you that are not familiar with Greater Birmingham, one thing that you will find about the Greater Birmingham area or the Northern Central Alabama area is, I mean, when it comes to the city of Birmingham, as I've showed you guys on my Birmingham video, Birmingham's got a remarkable downtown that has been completely redone over the last several years. And on, at least right now as I speak, the rest of the city of Birmingham still needs a lot of improvement. And I do think in time, when I don't know, but I do think in time, those improvements will at least slowly begin to be done in Birmingham. But until that, until that time comes, there are a lot of remarkable suburbs and smaller suburban-ish communities like the one I'm driving through right now that you can visit or if you got the right amount of money you can move and reside in and you can still go to you can still enjoy downtown Birmingham and if Birmingham doesn't have enough to keep you satisfied I mean within a, within a few hours you, you know you got Atlanta Georgia Within maybe, eh, I'll just within maybe I'll just say maybe a few hours. You can drive down to the Gulf. You can drive down to Mobile. You can drive down to the Panhandle in Florida. So within a handful of hours of here, you have a fair amount of places where you can go and and keep yourself entertained. I mean, if you're into the beaches and the ocean, you can drive a few hours down to the Gulf. I mean, I don't know off the top of my head how much, how long it would take, but since we're discussing it, let's look it up. To Mobile, Alabama. Mobile is three hours and 24 minutes from... Okay, to get to Mobile, you're looking at about three hours and 25 minutes 
with a little bit of traffic, let's just round it up to three and a half hours. So I would say in less than four hours, you can be in the Panhandle, you can be in the Panhandle of Florida at the beaches in less than four hours from here. And if you wanna go up north into Nashville, Nashville is not that far. Let's see how far it is to get to Nashville. Montebello, Alabama to Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, to get to Nashville, Tennessee, you're looking at about three and a half hours, which in my humble opinion, that's not too bad of a drive. So, like I said, you have all kind of cities that you can go and visit, all different type of sceneries, all within, I would say, four hours. I mean, if you're into more of the Appalachian-ish, uh type of atmosphere then obviously you can you can travel into the northern region of Alabama if you're into the beaches and the ocean and just uh, you know just uh, beach life you can drive down into Southwest Alabama, or you can drive down to the Panhandle of Florida. But I would say this city in itself, if you have the right amount of money, like if you have at least, would it say $300,000 to drop on a house right now? I would say, that, you know, this place ain't a bad place to live. I don't think it is. It doesn't appear like it is. And again, for those of you that live here, I would love for you guys to drop a comment below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you so-and-so? Are you new to the area? Holler at me in the comment section. Now, given the fact that the city does have a growing population of almost 9%, I'm going to say that this city is a desirable place to live. And at least most people that move here like it. That's going to be my assumption. I don't really got much more to say. I mean, I, I mean so yeah, so... So like I said, you know, feel free to inter interact in the comment section. And uh, if you want to help me out, all you got to do is give this video a thumbs up to help to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing that because I will be putting out many more videos. All right, folks, y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one.
Centerville, Alabama.